Hello YouTubers and fellow hams and fellow Linux enthusiasts. I thought I'd do a quick video on the method that I use to back up uh, my files and folders on my Linux computers. Now I have a file server that's uh, down in my basement that all my machines can access and it's my central repository for all my data, all my work, videos, backup, everything. Uh, and it has an external hard drive on it, and every night it does a backup. And I use a program called R-Sync, R-S-Y-N-C. R-Sync stands for Remote Sync, and it was developed years and years ago for synchronizing the contents between folders on various computers, or remote computers and local computers or whatever across networks. Um, it's a very powerful tool. It doesn't just copy data. It intelligently will look at the files in the source and the destination directory and only copy the data that is needed to be, needs to be copied. So let's take a look at a scenario here. Let's say you have two computers and those computers have folders and those folders contain files. And let's say that I want to back up this folder to this folder so that they'll be the same. Well, rsync, the first time that I run rsync, it's going to copy over anything that's missing. So like this file here is not over there, and rsync will then copy it over. Um, now let's say that over time I've made some changes to a file, right? So this, this might be a resume that I've updated or a, a graphic image, a picture that I worked on and edited or, you know, something that has changed. Well, the next time that I run rsync, it's going to intelligently look at all the files in the source and in the destination. And it's only going to copy over the one file that has changed. It's not going to bother copying over the files that have not changed. And in that way, it's going to save you a lot of time. A lot of time. So let's, uh, let's go and actually demo it. Now, rsync is a terminal program. It runs in the command line and a lot of people they shy away from command lines. Um, they don't like uh, using the terminal but this is really quite easy. Uh, okay for this example I have created on my desktop this test folder and this folder has a few files in it. All right, These are just some, some uh, 3D printing files that I was working on. I just needed something to copy. Um, and what am I going to copy it to? I'm going to copy it to a thumb drive. Now this could be an external hard drive that you plug in if you wanted to back up your whole home uh, directory. So I'm going to plug in that thumb drive. And here's my thumb drive. And it's empty. All right. So the command is simply this. rsync, R-S-Y-N-C, space. And we need to put in a couple of options. Uh, dash A-V. A means archive. Now what archive is going to do is it's going to preserve all of the attributes for each file that it copies including ownership um, attributes, the owner and the group that owns that file and that's important in, under Linux if you're, especially if you're backing up data. Later on when you restore it you want it to preserve those attributes so that uh, the file when it gets restored will have your ownership or the, and the group ownership. So that's what the A is for. The uh, V just means verbose and that's, that's optional. Um, that just means that it's going to print to the terminal window a list of the files that it is copying as it's copying them. Uh, a space and then we put in our source directory name. Now, uh, an easy way to find a source directory or the, the, the path to something, okay? Uh, I'm going to, for example here, my test folder is on my desktop, right? Desktop and test folder right here. And that has my files in it. Now, up here at the top of the file browser window, you can see it's showing us the path. If I take that test folder and I just drag it to the terminal, it's going to insert that path for me in the terminal. 
so I don't have to figure out where it is. I can just drag it in there. And it puts the path inside these single quotes here. The only thing I need to change, um, and this is important for our sync, is on the source path, you want a trailing slash. Okay? And that's just telling our sync that we want to preserve the path name from this point. Uh, so what it's going to do is it's going to preserve the path for every file that's in that in that uh, folder. And when we restore it later, that's going to be the root, the starting path, when it restores files. That's really complicated sounding. Um, just trust me on this. You want to put a trailing slash on your source um, name, okay? And then a, a space, and I'm going to put in my destination path. And I'm going to use the same trick... Uh, for my destination path. Okay, so my thumb drive, which is here, that's my destination path where I want to copy it to. So I'm just going to drag that up here into the window. Boom. And it automatically enters that path for me. So if I'm not sure where that thumb drive was mounted, I don't have to worry about it. There it is. Now when I hit enter, it's going to back up the contents of that test folder to my thumb drive. And there you can see it running. And it's copying over everything because the thumb drive was empty. And it's done. Okay. It sent 50 megabytes of information. And it uh, tells us how fast it went and how much time it took. Well, it doesn't tell us how much time it took, does it? Yeah, anyway. Uh, so there. We've copied uh, the contents of this test folder uh, up here to my thumb drive. If I run rsync again, you'll see that it won't won't do anything. Nothing has changed. Um, so it took no time at all to do that backup. Okay, so let's change something. Let's go in here and we'll create a new folder and I'll call it um, junk and inside of junk we'll create a new file. New file and I'll edit that file throw some random text in there. Okay, so now I have a new file inside my test folder. And if I run the rsync command again, we can see right here that it copied over that new folder and that new file. So let's go to the thumb drive and verify that it's there. Yep, there it is, junk. And there's our new file. All right, now I'm going to go back to my um, test folder and I'm going to edit that file. Make our change, save it. And I'm going to edit something. I'm going to create another folder to nothing. And I'm going to go run rsync again. Boom. Took no time at all. And we can see that again it copied new file and now it copied that nothing folder. So rsync is only copying over the things that have changed and it's going to save you a ton of time then in every subsequent backup that you do. I use it to back up my Linux home folder to my file server, um, to a backup folder on my file server. And uh, this way after the first time is done, which took forever, uh, subsequent backups are only getting the changes and it takes a lot less time. Now there is one other option for rsync that you might need to use and might want to use depending upon your scenario and that is uh, okay we got our AV I'm gonna put in dash dash delete and what that's gonna do is it's gonna also take care of deletions, anything that I've gotten rid of. So if I come back here to my test folder and I delete that nothing folder. When I run rsync now, it's going to go ahead and delete that off of my destination. It's done and now if I go and look at the thumb drive, we can see that that nothing folder is gone. Um, deletion can be important if you're backing up, say, your, your home folder to a, an external drive. 
Uh, if you didn't take care of deletions, then that external drive is slowly going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, um, and you're not going to, well, well, you're not going to preserve those changes. You're going to end up with all kinds of clutter over there. I mean, there might be something that you deleted that you really don't need anymore, um, and you don't care if it's on your backup, and this is going to take care of that for you. Now, one other tip to show you uh, with Linux. In the terminal, uh, every command, pretty much every command that you can type has a manual for it. And there's a database of those manuals already on your system and you can access it by typing man for manual space and the name of the command. For example, rsync, since that's what we're looking at. If I type man rsync, I'm going to get a nice manual on the command and all of its options, description, um, information, examples on how to use it. It's a full user manual for that command. And those manuals exist for uh, just about every command that you can type in the terminal, like the cat command, which would concatenate or, or type a text file to the screen. If I type man space cat, I get a manual for the cat command. So if you're in the terminal and you're playing around with stuff and uh, you want to learn more about a command you're trying to use, just type man space and the name of that command and you'll, you should get a full manual on that command. So that's a little bonus tip for you. So that's our sync. Um, there's a lot of options for it. It's a very powerful thing. But as far as just backing up, I think it's the best way to back up. It's fast, it's efficient, um, and it's, it's just so useful. So I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.